Hello there, welcome to another video about RA Solutions. In this video, what I'm going to be doing is showing you how to freeze panes in Microsoft Excel. Sorry, it's been a while since I last posted a video on my channel, but lots of people have been asking me a question. And the question is, how do we freeze panes in Microsoft Excel? And I thought, actually, I'll show you a video on how to do this. Um, before I continue, please like, subscribe and share. <music> So what is freeze panes? So if you're using spreadsheets, if you're using um, data in a spreadsheet, a table in a spreadsheet with lots of columns, lots of rows, what you can essentially do is freeze a portion of the sheet to, sh um, to keep it visible whilst you scroll through the rest of the sheet so you can compare the information against the column headings or the first row or whatever data you want to compare it to. Um, so this is especially useful um, again, like I've just said, for checking out the data in other parts of the worksheet without losing your headers or the labels in your spreadsheet. So what I've got here in front of you is a spreadsheet. So I've got column headers here. Um, so they go all the way from A1 all the way across. If I scroll across, I have to scroll from left to right to see all the column head headers there. So essentially, if I was at column AT here, title 46 now to compare the data here against the labels in column a it's going to be quite a hard task normally because i would have to scroll from left to right every single time um, so what freeze panes allows me to do is if i want if i want to show or keep this um, column visible i can by using freeze pane so essentially in fact if i scroll to from left to right it will keep column A visible here so I can compare the data on this side against the information in the labels in column A. The same sort of thing applies uh, with rows so if I wanted to keep my um, first row visible and I wanted to scroll down I can obviously if I've got information with lots of data in it uh, sorry a spreadsheet with lots of data in it this one goes up to item 400 here um, so it's really hard if you didn't use freeze panes to compare the data um, against the column headings here at the top. So that's why freeze panes or freeze columns or rows is really good. It just keeps the, the top column or the top row, the first column even, the top row visible at all times so you can compare the data. That's essentially what freeze panes is. Let's go. So let's say I wanted to freeze the first row. What you simply do is highlight uh, here um, highlight the first number one the first row there and all you simply do is go to the um, view tab here so you're at home at the moment scroll across to view and then from here find freeze panes the option where it says freeze panes and there's freeze panes there click on freeze panes um, again if you just oops if you just hover over it what it will do will give you a bit of information what that option does which it says there what you simply do click on freeze panes and then choose which option from the three you want um, Excel to uh, implement so I want it to freeze the top row so I click on freeze top row there and essentially what it's done it's frozen the top row so when I scroll down it will keep that row visible there so I'm scrolling down now look but it, it allows me to sh uh, keep the top row visible so I can compare the data in the other cells against the column headings there. I go back and then you can unfreeze it so it goes back to normal again. Um, so let's do, um, let's freeze the first column this time. So I'll highlight the letter here, column A here. Then same procedure applies, click on freeze panes there click on freeze first column click on that and now what I can do this column a should be visible now if I scroll from left to right and it's there look and you can simply now compare the data in the other cells against the labels in the first column there so it makes your life easy especially if you've got a spreadsheet with lots of data in there so it allows you to freeze the panes at your convenience now there's been another question that's been asked somebody asked me the other day how do I get Excel to freeze the first 
column and the first row so they're frozen at the same time it's a really good question um, so this is what you need to do let me just go back and undo everything I did free unfreeze everything what you ne simply need to do you need to find where the cell is here that's the first column and that's the first row sorry that's the first row that's the first column you need to select B2 there okay so that's where the in, in well that's where the intersect isn't it that's where you need to select because everything above that is going to be frozen everything on the left of that is going to be frozen that's how you need to look at it so you select B2 then the same procedure applies click on freeze panes again and this time you, you don't select freeze top row or freeze first column you select just simply freeze panes and what that will simply do it will freeze everything in column A and everything in row 1 so let's put this to the test let's scroll down the first row has been frozen but let's go from left to right and you can see the first column has been frozen so it just makes your life that tad easier um, especially if you've got data in a spreadsheet with lots of you know um, rows and lots of columns in there so you can really compare the information against the column headings or against the labels in the first column or in the first column let's unfreeze that and let's for example this time say actually I want Excel to freeze the first um, row but this time the first two columns again um, your cursor should highlight C2 this time because what you want you want that high uh, that cell um, to freeze anything above the cell here and everything on the left of the cell which is column B and column A so you make sure C2 is selected I really needed to think about that one so same principle applies again click on view go to freeze panes and this time click on freeze panes hopefully what should happen the first row has been frozen but the first two columns as well at the same time have been frozen let's try this out let's scroll down you can see the first row has been frozen but this time let's go from left to right you can see the first two columns have been frozen as well that's exactly what you want and it, essentially you need to follow the same principles depending on your convenience of what you need freezing in your spreadsheet um, so this is a really nifty tool actually making your life really easier and I would strongly suggest if you're dealing with spreadsheet with lots of columns lots of rows try out the freeze panes function it will make your lives a lot lot easier I hope this video has helped you please like subscribe and share